Hi YouTube, hi Cameron, <laughs> hi Shadow Walker. Yeah, I promised you to make a little PCB, and that's what I'm doing now. Um, yeah. For this device, I develop the PCB. You can see uh, the film is already mounted. I don't know how good you can see it. Uh, let's get a flashlight. One minute. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's too bright. Well, that's the film anyway. Uh, it's printed twice um, with a laser printer. Um, yeah. And that's where the PCB is getting developed. Uh, uh, that's my etching device. It, need, it needs to warm up to about well, 45 degrees Celsius in order to work. So this will take a little while. This is probably why I make this a two-parter or maybe a three-parter. So, and we also need natrium hydroxide. This is the positive developer we use. Uh, and this is our PCB. It's Bungard. Bungard. This is a German company. That's quality stuff around here, so that's why I'm only using Bungard. Yeah. Okay. That's a little unhandy here because in the one hand I have to hold my camera on it and with the other hand I have to work, so <laughs> that's a little suboptimal. I think we manage. And it's late, so I'm very tired. I had my my last exam yesterday, so at least be patient with me today. So important thing about um, the developer is that you don't have to make it too strong. If you make it too strong, it will well probably you know, it will eat away all all uh, the tracks on the board. So this is what uh, what you not want. Um, I see this hmm, is about half a liter, uh, oh, a little more of water. So I take about, let's see, I'm using, uh, well, empirical, dose, uh, empirical doses. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, this should suffice. You can always make it a little stronger while it's working, but if it, if it is too strong, you've got a problem. So, let's steer it around a little so it can dissolve. Okay, good. Now here we've got our PCB. I could show you my my well, trousers I got on, but I suppose you don't want to see it. <laughs> it's all eaten up by the chemicals. Um, yeah, this this is going to get tricky with one hand. You see, there's a foil on the PCB. That's just for the protection. Uh, let's get it. Uh, it's, I can do this. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. And by the way, um, it only rea reacts on ultraviolet, uh, yeah, light. So normal room light, or even well, not too intense sunlight. Not too intense means that you don't have to put it directly into the into the sunlight. But uh, normally, this doesn't. Do any harm? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it away now. Wait a minute. Okay. Ah, great. No, I dropped it. Ah. Oh. Okay. Still good. It's still coated, so I don't don't hold it too directly into the. So you can see this. 
it's not blank, it's coated. Okay. Now we place it here. Oh, this should do the trick. Ah, one more thing. Um, you have to, to mount it in a way so that it's mirrored, as you can see. So, if you don't do this right, the circuit itself will be mirrored. And this isn't too good. So this is why you should always put some text on the PCB, so you can always see the right side. Okay, now. Well, one more thing that is very critical is um, the exposing time. Uh, this is 330 seconds. I switch it on now. If you expose it too long, well, the board will go away when it's developed. And if it is too short, you've got a problem too. So because it doesn't develop too too good. Okay, I suppose um, I make a little break here, and in the second part, I will develop and uh, etch the board.